Hi, it's Dr. Kevin, author of The Hypothyroid Diet. You know, in this last week, I had a great opportunity to interview a specialist in environmental medicine. Her name is Dr. Lisa Naj. And she told me she treats a lot of people with hypothyroidism. Here's the interesting fact. She told me that just less than half of those people with hypothyroidism have some sort of mold exposure. And I looked at some of these symptoms of mold exposure and it's very eerie because they're very similar to those of hypothyroidism. So I wrote them down for you. Let's go over them. Chills, feeling chilled. People with hypothyroidism have this. It's a very common symptom. Muscle aches, fatigue, another big symptom of hypothyroidism. Confusion and headaches, morning headaches. A typical headache for someone that has hypothyroidism starts in the morning and diminishes as the day goes on because in the morning our body has its lowest metabolic rate and then it cranks up as the day goes on. Skin irritation, irritability, depression, another big symptom of hypothyroidism, and insomnia. Again, I found this pretty eerie. So these symptoms can be overlapping. So what can you do about it? If you want to do some testing in your house very easily, you can go to the American Environmental Health Foundation for little testing kits. Again, you can get their air purifiers. That's two big things you can do. Take it to the third step. You can go through and actually have your body tested. You can go through a blood test or a urine test through real-time labs. They will test your body to see if you have these exposures, these mycotoxins inside the body. And then, of course, you work on the treatment from there. You know, the environment in which you live plays a huge part in our health. One of the simplest and easiest things that you can do is just to purify the air and look for mold in your home or office. And then, of course, work on steps to remediate the mold. So hopefully this information served you well. Until next time, eat well and be well.